Well, good morning, YouTube. It is, uh, what is it? Got my watch out because I gotta go to work today. Uh, almost 11.30 already. Jeez, I wanted to be out here about half an hour ago. <laughs> Watching videos, eating breakfast, getting up, being lazy. So, this is the morning after the uh, incident. We'll just refer to it as the incident. The stupid moment on my behalf. Uh, we're gonna do a damage check this morning. Shouldn't be too bad. I pretty much know what's already been done. Nothing to really fix. We're gonna pull this wheel off. We did find four of the six lug nuts last night. Had two more sitting on here. Did mess up the new paint job on the hub a little bit. And got the locker just a smidge, but it still spins, so probably hit it, hit it with some paint real quick just to make it uh, all pretty again and then we've got the bottom of the rotor to address I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay with that a little bit of a burr down there we're gonna file down but I don't think it took enough off she was only on the ground for about four foot you can see the mark on the road I was going slow enough I was already getting ready to pull over to figure out what's falling off the truck but stupid, stupid, stupid. Always check your lug nuts. You live, you learn. Luckily, nobody got hurt. No serious damage. Because uh, if I would have done any more damage, I'd be taking that rotor off, which means disassembling the whole hub assembly again. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pop that wheel off. Double check everything. Uh, i got to grease the ball joints yet. If I can swing it, I want to try to do the front shocks today, too. Just two bolts, one one upper, one lower on each side. So see if we can't bust those out real quick. Maybe even try to get the rears done. But hour and a half, eh, we might be able to. We might be able to. I can probably go past one o'clock a little bit. So let me uh, shut this off and get to work. Alrighty, the wheel is off. Pretty good on that truck too, isn't it? So here's the grind spot. Hopefully it's showing up there. I'm going to take that little burr off. It's right on the edge. It didn't take much off. We're going to rock with it. I think it'll be just fine. So, the backing plate did get munched, but I was able to bend that back out so it's not riding at all. Plenty of clearance back there, so we're good. We're good. Just a little bit of paint on the hub, and I think we'll be all right. Woo! I do need to get some rubber bushings for the back. Kevin said those are shot. Probably from this side being so loose at the in the beginning. But the hubs do rock a little bit in here, but once we tighten the wheels down, they seem to solidify up. Back of the wheel got a little munch. There's some marks and some aluminum shavings but all in all we got lucky did a little wallering on the nut holes there the stud holes but yeah we did all right for screwing up it was probably only going about 10 mile an hour when it fell off anyway so uh, looks like it may have caught this a little bit but I didn't damage anything. I don't remember being bent like that before, but I don't see any sheet metal damage. Whoo! So we're going to file that little burr down. There's a lip right there I can feel. And then I'm uh, going to mask off this portion so I don't get paint all over my new hub. And then a uh, quick coat of paint on that just to touch up the bad spots. And then we're going to tackle that shock. So, almost uh, almost done with the repairs. I said we'll have to pop this off through those little rubber bushings and then I think the front end will be pretty well squared away. Just have to keep an eye on all the other links. So I gotta grease the fittings too, the ball joints and everything. Remember to do that. Alrighty, back to work. Alrighty. So, we got her touched up with paint. I got my new shock on. I went to go grease everything. I got the lower ball joint greased and then I ran out of grease. Oh well. 
I'll have to go pick some up here in the next few days. So we're going to go ahead and throw the wheel back on and uh, check a couple other things and uh, onwards and upwards. We'll get that other side buttoned up. It's uh, about 5 afternoon right now, so I should have plenty of time to... There's no repairs on this side. It'll just be basically doing a double check and then swapping out the shock. And I'm going to tighten up the lug nuts this time. So, alrighty, I gotta go. Ooh, okay, it is time for an update. It's uh, getting warm out here. Of course, I'm wearing a black shirt. Um, driver's side's all back together, minus the grease. I'm gonna go buy a jug of grease. I thought maybe I had one floating around somewhere here, but apparently I don't. I have to go check out in the shed. I may have one. But the wheel's back on. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We're not driving the truck today anyway. Uh, right side wheel is off. Kevin, those rotors do tighten up really good, so no worries about that. Uh, the shock, I got the bottom undone, as you can see. I can't get that top bolt out. I got the nut and the washer off, but boy, I cannot get that bolt out. It spins, although kind of crusty, but she just does not want to come out. I've been hitting on it with a hammer, but there's only so much room because I got the starter right there. Uh, I'm going to try to see if i got enough coordination to put my ratchet on one end and try to spin it with the ratchet while I'm hammering on the other side. We'll see. I'm not going to hold too much breath, but get that bad boy worked out. and Because I'm going to put that other shock in, and then I think we're going to call it quits. It's 12.30. i got to be starting to usually get ready for work about 1, 110, somewhere in there. Leave here at 1.30. So... Uh, hey, anybody out there interested in a 75 three quarter ton Ford with a 460? That one's for sale over there. So, it's a camper special. Shows 29,000 on the odometer. Neighbor's selling it. He's got it on Craigslist right now, so. I'm in Lake Stevens, Washington, so if you find it on Craigslist, if you need me to check it out, let me know. So. He just put it up yesterday, I think he said, or last night he was hoping for. So, alrighty. Uh, I'm going to work on that bolt a little bit more and keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get that worked out. You know, I could put a pair of channel locks on it and try to pull it out this way. I think I'm going to try that first. That might be a better bet right now. Since I can grab the head and twist it and pull at the same time. So, hmm, I'll grab those and get back to work. Alrighty, I think I figured out what's going on here. So I've been soaking this thing with arrow coil. Good stuff. Just a good penetrating oil. There's a spacer back here. It's spinning with the bolt, and I can't get it to bust free, so it's corroded on there. See it turning? There's a new one that comes with the shock. I need to sell the back of the truck, but uh i got to figure out how to get that off. I'm going to try clamping onto it with my vice grips and see if I can't turn everything with the ratchet and bust that free. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to cut that off and get a new bolt because these don't come with new bolts. They just come with a new spacer. Tis what it is, I guess. Hopefully, i got a bolt that'll work. i got a decent supply sitting back in there. But... <sighs> Simple little jobs on these old trucks, huh? I hear a helicopter. Oh, there he is. Probably can't zoom in enough, but as close as I can get you folks with this camera. The Sony zooms a lot fast, a lot closer, but it doesn't uh, doesn't want to record video right now. I can take picture, but I can't record the video. Otherwise, I would have had a really neat video of that uh, super blood moon or whatever they called it last night. Okay, let's see what we can do. I got another 25 minutes of messing around with this before I gotta start getting ready for work. A little better shot of the chopper for you. As close as I can get you though. Can't tell if it's military. I can't see on my screen very well, so. Alrighty, I gotta get to work.
Ooh. Channel locks on the spacer, wrench on the head of the bolt. After I heated it for a couple of minutes with a little butane torch, got her to spin and I pulled it out. Heat's a good thing. A little Harbor Freight special. I bought a lot of junk from Harbor Freight, but hey, it works. So, now we can get that other shock put in. Hey, I'm tired. But 20 minutes to go. The countdown continues. Woo -hoo. Shock is on. Bit of a pain, but about 10 till 1. Not too shabby. We're going to go ahead and button this up. Not going to be able to take it for a test drive, but I'm going to wait till I get some more grease. I'm going to wait till I get some more grease. And then maybe tomorrow we'll try to tackle those rear shocks. It should be, it should be simple enough. Boom, right there. I think need to pull the wheels for those. Upper bolt, lower bolt. Bada bing, bada boom. The cow she jumped over the moon, huh? So, we're going to throw this wheel back on and then uh, call this little project semi done. Like I said, we still need grease, but probably won't even need to pull the wheels for that. Just crank the wheels over to so get access where I need to, so. And tighten the lug nuts. So, alrighty, let's get it done. broke yesterday so I can't torque them. Done and done. She's back on the ground. Cool. One question I'm going to ask you guys, and I haven't looked it up yet, these hubs, the four-wheel drive locking hubs, do I need to lock tight those little screws in the cold to cap on? Can't find the instructions anymore. So, alrighty, that's going to do it for this uh, episode. Is everything snug? I did do the other side, yes. Do need to get a torque wrench though, especially for alloy wheels. So they don't warp, warp the rotors and all that good stuff. But uh, uh, we'll do shocks tomorrow. I hope. See what we got going for overtime this week. Maybe coming up again. Track down some grease. We'll get those ball joints done. And then uh, oh, I got to do those little uh, rubber bushings on the caliper on the other side. Probably do both sides. What the heck? Everything else is almost brand new under there, huh? So. We're getting close. We're this close to having it roadworthy. Still got to do a windshield yet. So, alrighty. We'll catch y'all later. I got to get ready for work. Go make some money to pay for all this stuff. We will catch y'all in the next episode. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.